Hey Friendly Foes, John here. Uh, a few days ago, Jen shared a picture of a fireplace I'm working on, actually that fireplace, on Instagram, and quite a few of you said you really enjoyed the finish and were wondering how it was done. Um, if you don't know, that's actually a painted finish, it's not stained. So today, I'm gonna take a few minutes and uh, teach you how to do a painted wood grain finish, and uh, hopefully you like it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a base color. Now this is just a sample paint that I got from Lowe's. It's a satin. In this case, it's kind of a burnt orange. And the reason I got a burnt orange is because the wood that I am trying to match has kind of an orange undertone to it. And that's what you wanna look at. What type of wood do you wanna get? Do you want a walnut? You might need a brown. If you want a pine, you might need a gold. So those are sort of the color tones. Now, I won't show it to you, but I've already base coated my sample board in this orange. So this is what we're gonna be doing our next step on. For the second step, we're gonna be doing a glaze. Now a glaze is just a semi-transparent paint. Generally, you can buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot in little quart cans as a clear, and then you add either tint or craft paint to it. In this case, I added uh, just some brown and some black craft paint, and you can see that it's very, very thin. And the reason we want it to be thin, semi-transparent, is that we want the base color to come through when we glaze it. So we, uh, we're looking for that streaky graininess of wood. Now the way we're going to accomplish that is we're using what's called chip brushes. Now chip brushes are very thin, um, very cheap, and disposable. So this is only about a dollar at Lowe's, it's a three inch chip brush. Important to note, you should wash it out before you use it because, because it's so cheap, the bristles will fall out. So let's go ahead and show you what we're going to do with the glaze and the chip brush on our base coat. All right, so our uh, base coat is all clean and dry. We have our chip brush and we have uh, glaze, which is a little bit of brown, a little bit of black uh, craft paint. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brush and go up and down, making just simple streaks um, to give it that texture of wood that we're looking for, the grain of the wood we're looking for. So let's try that out. Now once we get it all on, I'm gonna try and do some cross hatching on it, some uh, diagonal strokes to try and just soften these up a little bit. So you'll see just like this. And then go back with a little gentler touch and just drag through. Okay, we let that dry and then we'll put our poly shades over it in step three. Okay, so the final step is poly shades. Um, this is your final finish. Now, this is really just polyurethane and stain in one, mixed together. Um, it's Again, it's translucent, um, and we're gonna be putting it on with the same kind of chip brush we did before. Um, and what our goal is, is to sort of tie it all together. We have our base color, we have a nice, sort of grainy look behind it, but now we want to get the tone of the wood. And so this is what determines the tone. In my case, I want to use a Mission Oak, which is a sort of a true brown. You could use something that was more like a mahogany to make it really red, or a, a true oak to make it really light and, and pretty. Um, I'm going to use this. Um, we're going to put it on just like the glaze. We're just going to try and soften it a bit more. So let's do that now. All right, we're ready for step three. I have my chip brush, I have a dry surface, and I have my poly shades. Now, for this poly shades, I used half poly shades and half polyurethane, which is clear. That makes this a little less strong. So if your poly shades is too dark, you find it's too dark, you can just cut it with some clear polyurethane. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same technique, up and down, using poly shades and then go back again cross hatch it and then go back again and soften it out all with the same brush let's do that you can see almost immediately that it starts looking more like actual wood which is kind of cool all right now when everything is covered we can go through we can do a few cross hatches here and there we can soften it out a little bit. Again, just using a very light pressure on it to gently up and down. And that's about it. 
Now this will dry to a satin finish and then we're done. That's pretty much it. All right, and if we're lucky, we'll get a finish that looks pretty much like what we're going for, which is right on. Now, when it dries, you can see from this finish, it's satin. Uh, right now, obviously, it's very glossed and it's still wet, but it will dry down to satin. So that's about it. Um, when all is said and done, it pretty much just looks like wood, which is what we're going for. So this is just three coats of paint, a base coat, a glaze coat, and then a final finish, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.